Hello, and welcome to the Trovian Showcase. I will be your host, Insipid Von Money Currency. Where are we, and what will we be doing? We are on the last level of the Shadow Tower. Before we get rolling, let's go ahead and look one more time into the shadowy market. Right quick here. This is an item that caused me a great deal of consternation and confusion for quite some time, until uh, some very fine people did a little bit of explaining for me. You get resources, called Titan Souls, by completing Shadow Towers. Oh, very important. In so doing, you gain access to these two items. There's Titan Treasure, and Star... Uh, star, uh, Shaper's Star Keep, <laughs> using words correctly, delightful. Now, you can only use this in the Everdark. You can only get to the Everdark by getting to 5,000 PR. Mmm, marvelous. Even then, you usually want to go with a friend. However, this can be used immediately. Takes three, takes five. Titan Souls, that is. Now, Pre-5000 PR, this would seem to be a fine deal. However, if you are hoping to play for the late game advantage, you get to use these in the Everdark to open those chests, and therein get the supplies that are vital for creating, crafting, and upgrading stellar items. It is my decision that I decided to save all of my Titan Souls for this when I could do so. We will be doing content about that when we can. Until then, Let's get back to this. Where are we, by the way? Daughter of the Moon. We are going to be doing Daughter of the Moon, and it's going to be a lovely time. Pop it on open. I uh, would note that uh, for normal, it costs 50 flux. Hard, it costs 250 flux. And for ultra, it costs 500 flux. Keep that in mind when you're coming on in. You will need to have the spare change available to get the job done. Are we prepared? I certainly hope so. There are some levels uh, that have not been featured in our sequence of events. I'm mildly disappointed in that. Well, we have these nice large rooms. They're very pretty, full of spikes and full of baddies. Fine, well, and good. However, uh, there are some additional rooms that uh, have very um, beneficial layouts, wherein they have a shortcut tucked inside them. If they do not appear in our run, we will go ahead and record a special episode to feature the shortcut that we were talking about in a previous episode. Until then, we're going to press on through, keep this moving. Good, good, and good. Very excited to clean this on up for you. And on that note, Daughter of the Moon. Madness. One might presume that unless you're... Uh, an avid Avatar fan, the moon might not get to have a daughter. What is this? Madness. I say madness. We have herein, uh, as ever, cursed skulls, fine, with many candy baddies, fine, uh, who are summoned, trapped, scarcely now. As... Is it just me or the ground get very light suddenly? Strange. In any case, Chest is provided, chest is popped, moving right along. Good, good, and good. Ah, we see this room here. You come in, closed, closed, you have to go to the left first. Pop this on open, kill all the dudes. If you are using a ranged attack, you can go ahead and step back, let the, uh, the enemies come to you. Kind of funnels them up very nicely. Good. A few more, it's good. All right, you get that done. The opposite side opens. Get the opportunity to funnel them again. Good, good, good. Getting the job done, gentlemen. Final way opens. Moving right on through. And we see here again, jumping puzzles. Additional, goodness gracious. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Extra jump, always handy. Always handy. Coming on through. Good, good, good. Getting the job done, moving right along. Friends, good, excellent. Nothing of note, superb. I will say that the Daughter of the Moon Chamber is one of my favorite rooms in the Shadow Towers. 
Every time I get to see it, it is a distinct pleasure. Oh, and here we are. Crescent art pieces, very fine. And if you take a moment, right here, you get to see that this chamber has a moon above it. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you have not taken the time to just come into this room and marvel at it for a time, you are missing out. Um, it is absolutely stunning in its design. Uh, I have always found the uh, pseudo door to be something of a curiosity. Um, but uh, the pillars, excellent work. And I, I would like to attempt and uh, guide you through my, my first experience walking through here. Come on through there, very confused. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm here. Good. Bask in the size of the room, and then as you go, you're looking around, very pretty, very pretty, very, very dusk, very, very nighttime, starry night. Stunning. And then you look up, and you get to see this colossal moon just sitting above, above the chamber. Marvelous work. Marvelous work. And herein, going to take a nice long peek at you. Hey. Welcome, Daughter of the Moon. We can note from the character design that she has a crescent on her back and a crescent headpiece. Uh, Daughter of the Moon, interesting circumstances. Given the size and scale of the chamber, uh, herein, specialized for her. Uh, one might suggest uh, royalty of some kind. Um, because of the presumed backstory that is included uh, as part of Trove, um, there, there is a, an evil, a darkness, that has become more prevalent throughout the land. And uh, that includes um, this, this being known as Dot of the Moon. Uh, her attacks have these sweeping arcs from her sword, very fun. Uh, I'm not certain we're going to get to see any of the other attacks that might be available. She has a knock-up, very good. Another knock-up, very fine. Yes, wrap a little bit more. Ah, see, uh, as you do, oh, oh, oh. Uh, charged attack with her gun, shooting lots of bullets at everything except for me. She stabbed me with her gun. Her gun blade, good, good, good. More bullets, yes, at everything but me. Very fine. What fun. Oh, very nice. Big lasers going into the sky. Fun, fun, fun. Stand too close, does a bunch of damage. She can call upon uh, her gun to shoot independently of her. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, if at all possible. Can we, can we get rid of it? No. Cannot kill the gun. The gun cannot be killed. Hmm. We missed it there. It's a, it's a shame. She uh, drew an arc in front of her. Ah, oh, we're going to do it again. We're do it right there. And there we have it. One hit kill. Now, this is Dot of the Moon on normal, uh, and we were present with 191,000 health. Does not matter. If she hits you with that attack, where she draws a crescent in the ground and then does a sweeping attack, it will kill you. Note additionally, uh, the, the vial being used. That is a death-defying flask. Let me go ahead and pull that on up for you. What does it do? Automatically used when low on health can be purchased uh, with qubits or credits in the store. Now, that is supposed to go off uh, at any time uh, your health drops too low. And uh, will usually save a person from lethal amounts of damage. However, that attack completely ignores the effect of the flask. So, we we'll do this again very quickly. Bring her on out. Hello again, Daughter of the Moon! Thank you for killing me. It was a great deal of fun. Let's do that again sometime. Yes? Yes. And goodbye. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you again. Ta-ta. I think she threw her gun at me. Rude. And because this was out of the moon and we have the key, we're going to step over to this chest really quickly. We're going to hold down the T button. Might be a different button for you. Who knows? And then a bunch of goodies get to drop on out and we get to have them for our own. Most excellent. Inventory's full. Damn it. Well, that will end our demonstration of the Shadow Tower Daughter of the Moon. Until next time.